If you're one of the 250 million Americans who watched the saga of missing Kaylee Anthony unfold over the past few years, how do you feel about the verdict? Kaylee's mom, Casey, claimed to neither know nor care where her child was for a month. During that month, she was seen partying around her Orlando area home, seemingly oblivious to her daughter's plight. She was arrested for fraudulent check charges. She was charged with lying to the police, but she did not kill her daughter. So says the jury of 12 unanimously. It's easy to get into one's knower judger and proclaim she did it. And it's even easy to go out on the streets and protest violently that the jury didn't get it right. But the prosecution did not develop enough irrefutable evidence so that a jury of 12 could put Casey Anthony to death. That's a choice none of you other 250 million had to make. Here are some facts. Since 1982, eight death row inmates have been put to death who were later exonerated, but it's still easy to convict at the water cooler. 39 more inmates were put to death where new data, not presented at trial, put their capital conviction in doubt. Hang them! Juror number 12 in the Anthony trial felt so threatened by the backlash from the verdict that she quit her job at a local grocery store and moved out of state. The entire process was tried in the court of public opinion. Talking heads were on night after night, convincing us that the prosecutors had it right by pursuing the death penalty. That jurors, with all that evidence for what an uncaring slut of a mother Casey Anthony is, wouldn't dare turn her loose. Only Casey Anthony knows whether or not she's responsible for little Kaylee's death, and she's not offering up any evidence. That's our way here in the good old U.S. of A. We cannot be forced to incriminate ourselves, and we are considered innocent until proven guilty. But here's my point. We want to punish. We want Casey to pay a price for being so despicable. Let it go, America. Move on. While I would applaud the cause of Kaylee's death being discovered, there's no right or wrong in this process of jurisprudence. The jurists did their job with the data they were given. They certainly have my permission to sleep well tonight. Sure, Casey Anthony's not Mother Teresa, but us carrying on like schoolchildren robbed of our recess, righteously claiming right from wrong, only serves to perpetuate our knower judger ire, and we know what that can do to us. As for Ms. Anthony, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity.